is about fitness trackers. Well, clearly. So a lot of people have these, right? About me. Um, some of them are built in <laughs> on your phone, and they did some studies on them recently, Stanford did, and here's what they found out. They're pretty good at your heart rate, really good at your heart rate, which is an improvement. Really bad at calories burned. Uh, basically, the best version of them was still, on average, wrong 70% of the time or more. So it was really off kilter. And unfortunately, the biggest error encouraged people who might be more likely to want to lose weight, which is people with higher uh, BMIs, so body mass index indices. Uh, so therefore, they had more error, and that, those are the people who are really tracking this. So is this, is this the step thing, though, like counting the steps and things? Is uh, that the steps thing? are going to be accurate. It's okay. the calories burned okay, that's the problem. Because my wife's obsessed with the step thing. Like right. all day she's doing this. She's like, oh, how come Nicole has 15 steps more than me? i got to go walk more. Like, what is going which on can be, she keep track of her friends? Which can be a positive. Yeah, yeah ask her about that. But here's Weird. another thing they found <laughs> is that people who use <laughs> fitness trackers uh, don't lose weight as quickly as people who don't because it helps justify things. So they'll uh, say, well, I, I took X amount of steps and flights of stairs. I can eat this cupcake ah. now and so people actually lo lost weight slower uh, with these than they did all otherwise. i heard was cupcake so we I'm still have some those are the delicious Caroline's actually cake. you guys can say yeah. goodbye you guys have a good weekend i'm having more cake cupcakes <laughs> they're like little little ones now. they're good